Wasatch has a series of default input ICC profiles that it uses for images brought into SoftRip. These defaults are industry standard but may not provide the pop you need. You can change these to match the color settings you're looking for. SoftRip also has the ability to recognize input profiles that are embedded within a graphics application or device. Images that are brought into Wasatch are automatically assigned an input ICC profile. These defaults can be found by going to the Colored drop-down menu and choosing System Default ICC Profiles. This window allows you to change the default profile for your monitor, the RGB color space and the CMYK color space. To change the profile, click the Browse button next to the color space you want to adjust. Navigate to the location of the input ICC profile you want to change to. In this example, we're going to choose a saturated RGB input ICC profile. Once you've selected the new default profile, click OK. All images that use the RGB color space will now default to the saturated RGB input ICC profile. Wasatch also gives you the ability to bypass any default ICC profiles and use a profile that was embedded in your image. To make sure the embedded input ICC profile is used, select Print Setup. Click the Edit button, then click the Color Transforms button. Inside the Color Transforms screen, check the box in the upper left corner next to the Use Embedded ICC Profiles. Using this setting overrides the input profiles that Wasatch defaults to. Images that are opened in SoftRip will now use any profile that is embedded in the image before switching to the defaults. Once this adjustment has been made, click OK. Wasatch will prompt you to save this as a new imaging configuration. These two methods for applying input ICC profiles allow you to have a greater control over your color. You can apply a saturated input profile as a default setting inside Wasatch, or you can work with images using a saturated color space in a graphics application and have Wasatch recognize and adjust for that color space. With these settings, you are now ready to begin printing images with color that pops off the page.